Before we get into today's video, please send all of your real estate referrals to the email address on screen, garydc at g.cofc.edu. Thank you. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at propertymandan. And be sure to check out all of my other social media outlets. Links in the description. Follow me. So what I'm about to do now, I'm about to catch up and follow up with some leads that I acquired a while back. And I'm just really touching base with them. Um, I've integrated some new systems into my real estate business, which I'm going to get into a little bit later in this vlog, hopefully. And we'll see how it goes. Hello? Hi, Ms. Yes. Hi, this is Daniel. Um, you probably don't remember me. I called a couple months back in relation to I was a realtor just reaching out to you and I had asked before you know if you were interested in selling. Do you? So I was kind of touching base with you to see had you given any more thoughts of that? No, not right now. Okay. Well, um, I figured it was no harm in asking. I just wanted to reach out and just kind of see where you guys were with that. And yeah, I still have it in my phone. Okay. First time that you got. Oh, okay. You know, we, haven't, we haven't got to that stage yet. But I know it takes... And if we decide, I will be in touch with you. Okay. Perfect. I definitely appreciate that. Because right, right now, until... Uh, Okay, yes ma'am. I know sometimes these things take a long time. <laughs> Definitely wanted to just reach out to you, see where you guys' heads are at, and just um, see if I could answer any questions you may have. But um, definitely give me a call back if you're thinking about it, and I guess we can proceed from there. Okay, sure Okay, thank you so much, and you will have a great day. And I thank you for being interested, you have a great one. Thank you ma'am, you do the same. Goodbye. She said she kept my number from the first time. <laughs> I called months ago to this particular customer because she's not a client yet. She hasn't signed to me. So I reached out to her from a lead that I got, which I can discuss in a different video. And I just gave her a call. I reached out to that representative, asked did they want to sell, if they were interested. I did just want to make that initial contact. I did. She actually saved my number. She remembered me. I reached out to her again today, months later from the initial contact. Just as a follow-up, you know, it's always good practice to follow up, make sure people are still thinking about selling or where they are so that way you know whether you need to continue to follow up with them or to let go and pursue other leads. Just following up, being consistent with your leads, that is a surefire way to get business and to get leads, to get clients, to get sellers, buyers, investors, whomever in the real estate business. So I am elated that I called her as my first contact today. Um, what I'm finding, honestly, in real estate, just in general, I'm finding that everything that I do in real estate and business in general, everything that you do that you put your hands to has a six month germination period. Just in general, for things to start going your way from initial idea, from concept to manifesting in the physical, all of that has a six month germination period. It usually takes about six months to see the results of your work six months prior. Kind of like planting a seed. Literally, that's what it's like. You don't see the plant or you don't see the flower the day you plant the seed. It takes time. You have to nurture it. So same thing with those relationships. You have to nurture those relationships and sooner or later you'll start seeing the bloom, the blossom, the flower, the stalk, and eventually you'll see the fruits of your labor. So super excited that that first call went so well. I'm actually going to touch base with some other seeds <laughs> that I have planted. So I'll take you guys along on that ride with me today. So stay tuned. Also with any lead follow-up, it's very important to have a system in place so that you know from initial contact to closing date, how many times you followed up with this lead so you don't follow up too much and so that you're not neglecting any relationships that you've cultivated. If you take the time to source these leads, why would you want to let them fall by the wayside and not come to full fruition and see the fruits of your labor? So right now, I see that I texted this one client or called this one client 
last month. I'm pretty sure that the home is in probate, so I'm just going to give a call today again just to see where this particular customer's head is at. Um, once again, they have not signed to me yet, but I'm just going to give a follow-up text and I'll take you through the text that I am going to send. Okay, so I'm just texting the cell phone really quickly. I think that sounds pretty great. So I'm going to go ahead and send this message to my potential seller. And I'm also going to send a follow-up email to the email address that I have on file. So hopefully we'll get a response from that. And, and once I update that, I will go to some other lead generation tactics for today. So the customer just texted me back, said thank you for checking with me, that she is still thinking about selling and she will contact me soon. So I just texted back and said, absolutely, I appreciate the update. So I'll leave that there because I don't want to make the conversation awkward. I, I don't know. So I'm looking through some other um, leads that I had sourced a while back and I'm just trying to get my life together and keep it in order. This client is actually really nice. She just said, you're welcome. So I don't want to keep on saying thank you. And she's gonna say, you're welcome. So then she's like, thank you. Then you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Like, I don't want to do it. So exit the conversation gracefully. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do here. Okay. Okay, so basically I have all the information that I need. I'm just trying to consolidate it and put it all in one place so that my mind is not in 50 different directions like these papers are. So, and I know some of you are going to be like, well, why don't you have it on a computer? Because I don't have a dedicated CRM yet. And finally, following up with the last lead of the day, at least the leads of this particular source. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish <clears throat> recording, may hang up or press one for more options. I look forward to hearing from you and answering any questions should you have any. Um, and I hope you have a great day and take care. Goodbye. I, that wasn't the most confident message, but when you're approaching people, especially who have experienced a loss, I try not to be so salesy. Well, I'm not salesy anyway, but definitely you want to come from a point of understanding and a point of service. So I definitely don't want people to feel like I'm being salesy or pushy in any way. Give me that, like, because that's definitely not the case. I definitely want to come from a point of service. That was the last call for that particular type of lead. I will be doing some lead gen for expired later on tonight. I'll be looking up the expired tonight. I'll be calling the expired tomorrow because that takes a lot of time and effort. So I'll be doing that at a later date. Once again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to check out all of the links in the description box below and feel free to send me any questions that you may have regarding real estate. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.